Hello and welcome back to the QT Office video tutorials. This tutorial is number two out of three in the invoice creation process and features. This is the tax write-off invoice. If you have not yet watched the normal sales invoice tutorial video, then we encourage you to watch that first. It's going to cover the normal sale invoice, but also some of the basics that apply to all the invoices. After you're done watching this tax write-off invoice video, then please move on to the returns and exchanges invoices video. But right now, let's go ahead and learn more about the tax write-off feature in QT Office. Like all invoices, we will start by going to the invoice tab located here in your gray bar. Let's go ahead and click on that, and this is going to bring up the invoice main page. As always, on the left hand side, you'll have all your options, create invoice, which you can also get to the create invoice page here as well. You can view your paid invoices, you can view your unpaid invoices, which is your default view because you want to collect your money, so we show that to you first. Your personal invoices will be your tax write-off invoices. So anytime you create a tax write-off invoice, it'll come here to your personal invoice. We'll learn a little bit more about that in just a second. Your return and exchanges invoices will be directly from your return and exchanges invoices, which will be the next video. If you need to quickly locate a invoice that you probably created a while ago, then you can look by date or if you need to see all the invoices that you've created for a customer, you can look for invoices by customer and choose their name from the drop down menu. Well, let's go ahead and create our first tax write off invoice. So you just click the create invoice and this brings you to the default normal sale invoice page. We default to the normal sale invoice because you will create more normal sale invoices than any other kind of invoice. To change the invoice type, you will simply click Change, located right here under Normal Sale. Here are the three different main categories of invoices. You have your Normal Sale, which is only Normal Sale under there, which is the default. You have your Tax Write-Off invoice, which is your Demo Product Samples, Personal Gifts, Personal Use, Lost, Stolen, Damaged Goods, Donations, and your Hostess Earned Gifts and your returns and exchanges which we'll go through in the next video after this one. So let's take a little bit further in-depth look of the tax write-up invoices and look at some situations where you'd use them. You can refer back to how they work by hovering over the little question marks or if you're on an iPad using this then clicking on the little question marks. So your demo products and samples will be used anytime that you demo or show off your product. So this will be at skincare classes or even one-to-one -one facials. Your personal gifts invoices will be used when you give a gift to someone for instance for their birthday or for Christmas or just because. Your personal use invoice is going to be anytime you use a product for yourself. So if you ran out of microderm abrasion and you picked it off your shelf then you would mark this invoice personal use. Your lost, stolen, and damaged goods invoices are going to be used when you need a complete write-off. Now a good example for this is going to be if you have a damaged product or let's say even a stolen product that Mary Kay will not replace. Because Mary Kay is not replacing this, you'll need to turn this into a write-off. Now if Mary Kay is replacing that item, then you don't need to create a lost, stolen, or damaged goods invoice for that. Donations are going to be used for any time you donate one or more products to a charity. Now it's very important that this is to charities only. If it's not an official charity, it's going to be a personal gift. How we calculate the numbers are going to be the same, but in many states how you write that off at the end of the year are very different. Your hostess gifts and earned gifts can be used for any gifts you give to a hostess or any prizes that you hand out to your team. Now I actually suggest that you use the normal sale invoice for any hostess gifts and there's a good reason for that. So let's say that you sell your customer Betty 10 different items and she gets two free gifts. So what you could do is you could add all those items to the normal sale invoice and just discount those two gifts that you gave her for the product value. So if they were $10 items and you were going to give those to her free then you would mark ten dollars for each item free. Now the reason that you want to do it this way is because you're going to have a product history for that customer and that'll show up in her product history when you do a search for her. 
You can also see if you want to switch out a different gift with purchase in the future. If you've given her the same one over and over, maybe she wants to try something new. Again, I would use the hostess slash earn gifts for team member prizes, and I would just create a normal sale with discount for the earned gifts from your customers. So let's go ahead and create our first tax write-off invoice. Now they're all going to be laid out the same, so it doesn't really matter which one I choose, it's just how they total at the end of the year. So we'll go ahead and create a demo products or sample. You can see my invoice type changed to demo product samples, and if I click the wrong one, I can just click changed again and change it to something else. The customer changes to personal invoice. Now this is the case for any kind of tax write inv invoice, not just demo products, but for personal use, charities, etc. You can backdate this if you like, but the default is to go ahead and take today's date. The adjust inventory button will remain checked as long as you want to take products off your shelf when you create this invoice. If you're creating a tax write-off invoice that's current, then you're probably going to want to leave this checked because this is going to deduct that product. Now a situation when you would uncheck this is if you need to account for an old invoice but you do not want to adjust the product off your shelf. So for now we'll leave this checked. To add products to an invoice there's two different ways. You can simply start typing and you can see I started typing microdermabrasion here and it popped right up because I typed in micro. This looks for an exact match so if I typed in microderm space set space new it would come up but if I typed in microderm new it would not come up because the word set is between. It looks for an exact match because there are thousands of products in here and it helps to weed them through very quickly. You can also use these checkboxes to weed through things very quickly as well. For instance if you know that the product you're adding to the invoice is a current active product then you would leave the current active products box checked. To get this on the invoice sheet, you just simply click on it and make sure you click on the center because if you click on the edge it may not add, but click on the center and it is added here. Alternately, you could also use the green plus signs here, which will pull up a pop-up window and you could select the category that your item is in, weed through the products you only have by clicking only on hand products and select your product that way. We'll pick this 3-in-1 cleanser here. Now I'm going to go over the instructions of how the math calculations work for the demo products and any other tax write-off invoice, but they're also listed down here at the bottom if you need to refer back. You can also watch this video as many times as you like, but this quick reminder is often all you need. So the first field that we are going to change is going to be the discount field. Notice there's two discount fields. One has a dollar sign and one has a percentage. We're going to focus on the percentage discount because your wholesale that you pay for a product is 50%. So I'm going to type in a 50% discount into the discounts box with the percentage sign next to it. This is because you can only write off the full amount you pay for a product. Now if this is section 2 or if this is section 2 products on the invoice then you will leave the discount at 0% because 0 is the opposite of 100 and you can write off 100% of your section 2 items because you pay full retail price for them. But this is a section 1 invoice so we will leave this at 50% discount reflecting wholesale and we will change the tax rate to zero. You've already paid taxes on these products when you bought them from Mary Kay and Touch so we don't want to double pay that. That's why we change it to zero. Come all the way down to the bottom and you'll see the paid in full box which you'll leave alone and go ahead and leave that checked. We'll hit continue. Now if you get this pop-up that says invoice total and amount paid should be equal, it's super easy to fix that. Just uncheck the paid in full box and check it again and that'll clear out the catch. This pops up anytime that you leave the paid in full box checked and then apply a discount. So that just clears out your catch and fixes everything. We're going to go ahead and hit the continue button at the bottom. And this will be the final review of your sheet before you hit confirm. This just lets you get one last chance to check for any mistakes. Now, if you have made any mistakes, that's absolutely okay. You can always go back and edit an invoice later. So let's go ahead and hit confirm. And this will take us back to our main invoice page. The invoice we just created will show under view personal invoices here on the left. It's right here on top. 
and you'll notice that the calculation for the 50% discount is done here and the tax is showing zero. If you've made a mistake then you can use the edit button right here to correct any mistakes you do. If you delete this invoice then every product on that invoice will be added back to your shelf. This is fine if you'd like to recreate the invoice but don't delete anything unless you need to recreate it because that'll quickly throw your numbers off for your products. You can also take a note here in the notes box and that'll let you refer back to why you did the demo or where you were when that happened. Now let's go ahead and see where this went to the expense sheet because a lot of this is being automated for you which is going to make your taxes a snap. So we're going to go up to the expense button here in your gray bar and then we're going to click on tax report. Your tax report may be over here on the left if you have a smaller view of your screen but generally it is in the pink bar here. You can go back and look at previous years if you like but the default is going to be this year from January 1st. So what I'm going to go look at is I'm going to go down here to cost of sales and I'm going to take a look at my demo products and samples. And you can see that this number is a little higher than the invoice we just created because I created another one earlier. But this is going to total up to your wholesale amount at the end of the year so it will make doing your taxes that much easier. And even if you need to make some last minute adjustments to your taxes, you can simply do that by going to My Expenses. So thank you very much for watching the Tax Write-Off Invoice. And if you're enjoying QT, we encourage you to come up here and click on Tell a Friend at the top of your screen. And then what you can do with this, it's really cool and easy to get free months, is click on the brochure icon. Now the reason it's easy to get free months here is because for every person that tries QT, you get a free month. And we made this easy by printing a brochure that has your username and your referral code right on there. You can print this and bring it to your unit meeting, or you can save it to your computer and add it as an email attachment. So thank you very much for being a QT, or if you're thinking about being a QT, we look forward to having you on board. Have a great day.